the SMT. Uh, we're speed testing AT&T 5G Plus. I think we've got some Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband here. And we also have T-Mobile's 5G you see in the vicinity. So we're gonna test all three. I'm about two miles from the airport. And you'll see we are picking up C-Band N77. 3.7 gigahertz. We got a AT&T upgrade that just happened actually. Let me show you guys the site. All right, so this is, um, I would say on this sector where it's facing, I'll give you guys a close look. All right, you see that smaller antenna, and then the radios are there. All right, this is an AT&T site. I'm not sure who that is at the bottom. It might all be AT&T because T-Mobile's not on this site. T-Mobile's closer to the airport, and Verizon is on the other side. Uh, I think actually back there somewhere. So they got their own site. But anyways, uh, that's the site that we're testing. Monopole. I don't know. It's like a like a junkyard or something. I don't know. There's like a machine shop or something back there. And then there's a bunch of trucks and some out of commission vehicles. Anyways, um, show you guys the results here and give you the specs on this connection. All right. So 5G plus what you're looking for for the C-band and AT&T. You got 617 down and 45 megabits up. 35 ping, 27 jitter. This is a brand new site. They just put it up. They just upgraded it. All right, so what you're getting on this site, you're getting band 14, 10 by 10. That's the bandwidth. Uh, you're getting 15 by 15 on the band 12. You're getting band 2, 20 megahertz. You're getting band 66, 20 megahertz. You're getting band 30, 10 megahertz. The speeds are phenomenal. All right, they're probably running fiber to that site. I just looked at the signage and it said it was a AT&T site did not say Crown Castle or American Tower. So um, to give you guys perspective, that's theirs. So they probably ran their own backhaul there. It's probably multi-gig, right? And, and there's the speed showing it. Most Verizon sites don't even do this. And Verizon sites are 60 megahertz of N77. AT&T's 40, right? So that's that's really impressive. All right, so that's that's that. We'll check out fast.com, we'll, we'll make it official. And uh, then we'll do an NPERF and see how that does. And then I'm gonna switch the sims. We're gonna do Verizon's ultra wideband. And then we'll do T-Mobile's 5G UC. Sorry for the road noise. It's a busy street, we're near the airport. Uh, it's not busy today, actually. It's not that busy, I should say. Uh, kind of like an industrial park type deal. Not much action on Saturdays, but uh, during the week, I'm sure it's pretty busy. That makes sense why they put this. All right, now the one sector is pointing back in that direction that points to like uh i think there's some used car sales there's some businesses back that way the opposite sector on the opposite side of this is probably pointing to the airport no joke guys it's it's got two mile range this stuff is pretty good um and they're pushing it towards the airport i don't think they care we don't have a buffer zone here not cleveland hopkins you'll hear the train back that way All right so the airport's actually back that way um 32 millisecond ping, 34 uplink, 640 on the downlink. Really good stuff there. And then after this, I'm gonna switch up. I'm gonna, I'll do the Verizon 5G ultra wideband and the T-Mobile 5G UC. All right, we got an excellent score, 132,000 endpoints. 572 down max, 466 average, 48.7 upload peak, and a 46 average, 34 ping, 25 jitter. Uh, we got an 82% browsing, we got a 94% streaming, all very good. All right, things looking good there. Let's go ahead and switch up, and let's go ahead and do the Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband. Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband site is back that way I mm, actually it's probably back that way now that I think about it the streets gonna go down I think that would be south east it's it's kind of far actually let's see how it does all right we are picking it up good stuff 5g ultra wideband from distance
it's at least a mile and a half from here. I'd say. That's pretty good. I mean, the fact that it's getting it at least. First thing that happens, guys, with any of these higher frequencies, anytime you get into the mid bands of the world, right, you lose uplink. It's definitely showing it. I see this problem with N77, N41, makes no difference. They're all the same. All right, 220 down, 3.3 up, 37 ping, 4 millisecond jitter. Uh, I guess it's acceptable for how far we are, but uh, definitely not great. Go ahead and run the fast.com. Got 200 down, uh, what is that, about 27 up? I don't know if the uplink really got better. Fast.com isn't the most accurate. That's probably more accurate, five megabits up. 39 ping, all right, good stuff there. Let's run it through the end perf. You guys see how AT&T did? All right, let's go ahead and test this again, full test. All right, test interrupted, network error, something failed. All right, well, we're just gonna end that. I'm not gonna sit here and dwell on that. Uh, let's go ahead and switch up the sims. Let's go ahead and put this thing on T-Mobile's 5G UC. There we go, finally got it, okay. All right, so we're finally picking it up, 5G UC. All right, there we go. Let's say we're about, um about a mile out from the site so that's pretty good all right so with Verizon you're looking for 5G UW with AT&T you're looking for 5G plus with T-Mobile you're looking for 5G UC upper right hand corner 314 down we got about 22 up 80 ping 13 jitter pings and jitter not good all right so we got 314 down 24 up 80 ping 13 jitter uh, let's go ahead and do a fast.com, see how that does. So this is, the T-Mobile site's a little bit closer to where we're testing here from than the Verizon site, and like we're right up against this site here for AT&T. So we're definitely not at equal distances, they're, they're all different ranges or whatever. 480, 490, 500, fast.com's kind of weird, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what's accurate. But full throttle video here. We're on Los Magenta Max. Business Magenta Max here. 67 ping, 47 up, 480 down. Okay, so that's plenty good. All right, let's go ahead and run an end perf now. All right, there we have it, an end, perf, uh, end point score of 98,000. We got a 69% for the streaming, or the browsing, and then 89% for the streaming. So the browsing, not great, the streaming much better. Uh, we got 368 peak download, we got 293 average, 27 peak upload, 26 average, and then the ping is off the charts, way too high, 100, 
116 jitter at 27. All right, so the best connection came from AT&T today. We're nearest the site, you know, makes total sense. Uh, the T-Mobile one came in second. It's a little bit closer than say like the Verizon one, so it tested better. Uh, but it's not that far. We're about a mile away from this site. And the Verizon one, I think we're on edge cell. It wasn't very good. It didn't perform that great. Uh, the uplink was very, very skimpy. So uh, you might want to turn on LTE in a situation like this. Hopefully they can densify and add another site with an upgrade so then it could score. What do you guys think of the results? What do you think of the upgrades? Uh, I'd love to hear your comments here. Go ahead and drop them in there. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe for more, and turn on the bell notifications icon to never miss an upload. My Twitter, my Gmail, all that's in the description, as well as my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Peace.